This is $300. And I wanna see if this is enough to start mountain biking. And here's the rules. I cannot use any bikes, parts, tools, or equipment that I already have. So I'm looking at all the price tags here and everything is just way over my budget. This just got way harder. Rule number two, everything to start must come from the $300. That means bike, equipment, tools, and protection. Oh, nice. They got a bunch of tools and accessories. That's gonna come to handy later, but first, we gotta figure out how to get a cheap bike. All right, here's the game plan. I'm gonna try to find a used bike. I think my best bet to find one under $300 is gonna be Facebook Marketplace. Normally, I buy a lot of bike parts from Pink Bikes Buy and Sell, but I think it's gonna be almost impossible to find a bike under 300, probably even under 200. I look absolutely everywhere for a used bike in the $200 range, and there's nothing that fits my ideal criteria, and that's a tapered head tube. And that's when your frame kind of flares out right here. More on that later if I can find one. Disc brakes, one by drivetrain with a clutch, and I might be asking for too much, able to take a dropper post. And I thought all hope was lost, but then my OG subscriber Eugene sent me a link and we just went full circle. It's a Schwind half online at Walmart on clearance for only $124. If you include tax, it came out to $135 with free shipping. And after about a week of waiting, this is pretty crazy to be back on a Schwinn. I started mountain biking with a Schwinn Axum and those run for about $500 right now, way over my budget. My first Schwinn was just way too big for me. Online it says that this bike is for people five foot nine to six foot, but the wheel tag says six foot plus. So I hope that this bike fits. Dude, for only $124, this bike looks amazing, but there's a problem. It didn't come with a tool to put it together. So I had to go back on the internet and I had to order the first of many parts in what I'm calling the equipment category. So I went on a shopping spree with, on Amazon. So it's been a couple days since I had this shipped to me, but I got some really cool stuff in here, some really good deals. But the first most important thing is I got a multi-tool. Now this multi-tool has 10 different tools inside of it. And I can take this with me on the trail just in case I need to work on the bike, which actually happens a lot more than you think for mountain bikes. But what do you say? We build this thing up and get a little build ops music. So while I build this bike up, I'm doing this video because a lot of people said that my $900 Ragley isn't cheap. So I want to take on this challenge. But if you're not on a super extreme $300 budget, I'd like to point you to the Pros Closet, this video sponsor. They're an online bike shop where you can buy certified pre-owned bikes that go through a 141 point inspection. I got one of my bikes from them, the Orbea Rayon that I did a few upgrades to, and I've been having a blast riding that. They can also help you decide what type of bike that you like and recommend the correct size with their ride guide. Every bike has a 30 day money back guarantee and they even sell new and used parts as well. So head to the pros closet by clicking my link in the description. And if you use my code EVANSMTB40, you can get $40 off orders of $200 or more. All right, so the bike is fully put together and it's actually pretty simple. Every bike that I've ordered mail order, including this one, comes with the back wheel on, already all tuned up. And all I had to do was put on the handlebars, the front wheel and the pedals, and pretty much anybody can do that. But check out this bike. It literally checks off every single criteria that I wanted. Tapered head tube, disc brakes, one by drivetrain with a clutch derailleur. And this little port right here is for a dropper post if I wanna put one in. But all right, this bike is looking pretty good. What do you say we take it for a little spin around the neighborhood? Well, we got ourselves a mountain bike. I think it's a bit big for me, and I'm sure there's a few things that I could swap to help that, but I don't wanna be swapping parts before I even go ride the trail. There are a few little things I need to tune up, like these brakes are rubbing, and you can look on YouTube on how to align your brakes, and also I need to adjust my bars a little bit and the levers, but that's all personal preference that I can definitely do with that multi-tool. And actually, my feet feel pretty slippery on these pedals, and I have some at the house to fix that. So the new goal, since we only have $144 left, is to buy some protection, some accessories, and maybe even have enough for some trail snacks. All right, now I get to show you what else that I bought. First up, a water bottle, because I'm gonna get thirsty on the trail, right? And second, to hold the water bottle, I'm gonna need a water bottle cage. And to solve this slippery shoe slash pedal issue, I got the ultimate budget pedal upgrade 
Fuker pedals. So these Fuker pedals are technically knockoffs from the brand of Raceface, but we're on a super tight budget and we don't care about any qualms between brands. And sometimes people on the internet like to talk smack on these knockoffs, but really no one will ever say anything to you on the trail to your face. And hypothetically, if they did, just smile and ride away. The last thing that we need to do before we hit the trail is actually take off these reflectors. Now reflectors do serve a purpose, but I'm not riding on the road. And also with all these reflectors, they will come off eventually and then they're littering the trails. So that's why we don't use reflectors. And also this kickstand also poses a hazard. So that needs to go too. And with that, the bike is completely ready to go. We still have a few bucks left over. So that means I need to go back to the store because I'm missing something really important. A brain bucket. Let's go get it. Oh, dude, this is huge. Check this out. They got a helmet with MIPS. So MIPS is this like plastic thing that's pretty much like one of the leading things for protection a helmet. And for only $34.95. Oh, and it fits too? Dude, I got so lucky. So the pedals are one part of the equation, but I, I think I have enough money for some of these shoes right here. Check these out. Air walk shoes for only 30 bucks, dude. So what I'm looking for is a shoe that's kind of stiff so that it doesn't flex too much over the pedal. And also this looks like it has pretty good grip. I came over here looking for Vans, but Vans are like 50 bucks these days. And Air walk was a brand that was around when I was a kid, when I started riding bikes in the 90s. So I hope these work out. Please wait for assistance. Thank you for shopping at Walmart. All right, here we are. We made it out to the trail, finally. And I had a little bit of money left over, so I bought two very essential things. But before we go ride, I need to tell you something. So here, come close. A little closer. This bike has its limitations. The saying goes, you get what you pay for. And at $124, or pretty much any bike at Walmart, it's not gonna be the best craftsmanship and it's not gonna have the best parts. In fact, don't expect to ride this bike like pros do. And I mean, these bikes normally come with warning labels that say, don't even ride them on the downhill. Look, I understand that people may not be able to afford more than $300 to start the sport. I get it, I made this video for you, but I also made this for people who don't wanna drop a bunch of money to start a sport they aren't even sure about. To me, this bike will be a great starting point though. Getting out, seeing nature, discovering your local trails, and figuring out how to operate a mountain bike. But one more thing, if you have any experience BMXing or jumping a bike of any kind, this bike is not for you. You'll outgrow it within a month or if not weeks. So save up your money, get something better, or just go get a bike rental to see if you love the sport. All right, disclaimer over. And what I bought with my leftover money is some super nice gloves that I've used in the past. And then I got some chain lube. Now I noticed I didn't mention any riding gear. I'm wearing just a t-shirt and shorts and you could even ride jeans, that's okay. But I even had some leftover money, so I got some trail snacks. All right, let's go ride. 